Welcome to the Big Smoke where reminders of the city's long history can be found around every corner. Welcome to Around the World. Today, we'll be looking at the top places to visit when visiting London. Are you a fan of our channel? Be sure to subscribe to Around the World and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at the top places to see when visiting London. Number 10. Tower Bridge. The end of the 19th century, Tower Bridge spans the River Thames. For a complete experience, take a boat trip beneath the Tower Bridge. Don't miss the medieval castle Tower of London, which dates from the 11th century and the remnants of the Roman Wall, which were most likely completed in the 3rd century. Number 9. Camden Town. Service industries such as retail, tourism, and entertainment have supplanted the traditional manufacturing economic foundation. Street markets and music venues, both of which are strongly linked with alternative culture, currently abound in the region. Don't miss out on a trip to Camden Market and the Cyber Dog Store, which features futuristic fashion, club gear, rave clothing, and live dancers. Number 8. Museums The majority of the museums in London are free. The British Museum, which is dedicated to human history, art, and culture, is a good place to start. The Natural History Museum houses a diverse collection of specimens from several fields of science. The Science Museum is only around the block, and it's a terrific place to view, touch, and experience science firsthand. Number 7. Big Ben and the Palace of Westminster this British cultural monument was built in 1859 and is located at the north end of the Palace of Westminster, which houses the United Kingdom's Parliament. The clock tower was formerly the official name of the tower in which Big Ben is housed, but it was renamed Elizabeth Tower in 2012. Unfortunately, Big Ben is undergoing renovations and will not be finished for another few years. Westminster Abbey, an outstanding Gothic church just a few meters away, is definitely worth a visit. Number 6. London Eye The London Eye is a massive Ferris wheel on the River Thames's south bank with views of Big Ben and Westminster. It was the world's tallest Ferris wheel when it opened to the public in the year 2000. The wheel is 120 meters in circumference and stands 135 meters tall. Number 5. Little Venice Little Venice is a neighborhood focused on a row of colorful houseboats and a three-way canal intersection that is partly tree-lined. Restaurants, boutiques, and theaters abound in Little Venice, one of London's most prestigious residential neighborhoods. It was a nice sight to witness and something I hadn't expected to see. Number 4. Hyde Park the main park in London is Hyde Park. It hosts world-class events and performances, as well as plenty of peaceful spots to unwind. The fountains were dedicated in 2004 in honor of Diana, Princess of Wales. Number 3. Piccadilly Circus Piccadilly Circus is a road junction and public space in the city of Westminster in London's West End. It was constructed in 1819 to link Regent Street with Piccadilly. It was called after a tailor who was known for selling Piccadils or Piccadillies, a term for several types of collars. The circus is noted for its video display and neon signs that are installed on the building's corner. We recommend going there at night as well. Number 2. Buckingham Palace Buckingham Palace is the most famous royal residence in the United Kingdom. It is Her Majesty, the Queen's London residence, and one of the few still operational royal palaces in the world. Don't miss the historic guard mounting ritual, which is performed by active duty soldiers from the foot guards who have been guarding the King and royal residences since 1660. Number 1. Harrods. Harrods is a high-end retail store that is now owned by Qatar. The store has 330 departments and covers 90,000 square meters of retail area, occupying a 20,000 square meter side. Bonus!
Canary Wharf. Visit Canary Wharf on the Isle of Dogs in Manhattan, London if you have a few extra hours. It is a commercial neighborhood in East London that has many of Europe's tallest buildings, notably One Canada Square, the UK's second highest structure. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other videos for great travel destinations and be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified about our latest videos.